Let's try a sales tax question. Suppose that you load a grocery cart with $159 worth of groceries and the local sales tax rate is 7%. How much tax do you pay and what is the total cost of the groceries? To figure this out, we're going to find what 7% of 159 is. And of course we do that by multiplying the 7% times 159. When we multiply though, we need to write the 7% as a decimal. So we write that as 0 0.07 times $159, which comes out to $11.13. So if we're paying $159 for the groceries and $11.13 in sales tax, the total that we pay is the sum of those. So we add $159 to $11.13 and the total cost is $170.13. We could also find that final number by doing one calculation. Notice that we calculated 7% of 159 and then added that 7% on to the total of 159. So it's as if we started with 100% of something and added on 7% for a total of 107%. So if we find what 107% of 159 is, that will give us the same number. So if we multiply 107% times 159, well we need to write the 107% as a decimal, but that's nothing more than 1.07. Multiply that by 159, and you find that you get the same answer as the first part, $170.13. So we can calculate sales tax separately and then add it on, or we can calculate 107% of the initial amount to figure out the final amount that we'll pay, including sales tax. So there's two different ways to solve the same problem.